Welcome to this Steagle video where we demonstrate the sharing and publish options of a new Google site. This can help you determine how and who you can share your site with and help you decide when it's a good time to publish your site. Let's have a look at some of the capabilities first of all. Let's check how we can publish or share a site with a specific audience or make it public. We jump over to a site. You'll find you have the share with others icon in the top bar. This lets you choose how your site is shared. The draft, the editor version of the site, you probably want to keep very private. Either only you can edit the draft or you can add specific people in to edit the page. You can change this if you wish. If you want to make a site available for your whole G Suite domain to do that, you can do so. But normally, you do not want to make this public. That's for draft. But here you have the published option. And here you can see automatically it's set to people, specific people can view. This you can change, so you can make it anyone within your G Suite organization, or if you don't use G Suite, anyone publicly can view the site. If you were keeping the site private, you can enter people's email addresses in here and choose that they can only view the published version of the site rather than being able to edit. This is how we use that editors too. Now let's have a look at how you publish and see the changes since you last published the site and how to turn that option on and off. With this site, it's currently unpublished. So when we go to use the publish button, it asks us how we want to publish the site. There we can enter in the end of the web address for the sites.google.com address. This isn't a public custom URL. This is just the public address that you would give out if you've published your site. You can see that it gets added onto the end of the sites.google.com URL. You also have the option here to check your sharing before you publish. We'll go ahead and publish, and it publishes the site exactly as it is. One of the other features you now have is you can review changes and publish. If we go to use this option right now, we'll find there's no changes been made to the site, so therefore just suggests we can return to the editor. But if we were to make a copy of a page, for instance, let's duplicate this page here, so we have a copy of the demo page. Now we have a new page there, we can add some content to. This is unpublished. Now when we go to publish this page, we get a note of what's changed on the page. We can see we've added a copy of the demo page, we've added some content there. On the published version of the site on the right hand side, you'll find that there's no preview because this page is not currently published. If we go to publish, we now find that that's now published on the site. If we change some text on the page to show that this page has changed since the last publish, now when we go to publish this time, and again, it's going to tell us that we've updated a copy of the demo page and it highlights which bit has changed. So we can see that this text tile has been updated. Again, we can publish. If you're only editing the site on your own, or you feel you have a good handle on how the site edits are, you can actually turn this feature off if you want. There you can go to the publish settings. Once you're in the publish settings, you can untick the box that say editors must review the changes before publishing. Now, if you make any changes, when you go to publish, it just publishes immediately and doesn't show you those differences changed. You can also change the publish URL. Again, in your publish settings, if the site's already published, you can then change the publish URL. So let's, for instance, change this published URL to something a bit longer. You'll see that you get the tick box to say that that URL is available. If it isn't, it means you have another site that's already published there. But you also get this warning to remind you that by changing this URL, anyone who's bookmarked the site, anyone who has the site in an email, for instance, they will no longer be able to access because you've changed the URL of the site. If you've published your site publicly, you have the option to hide it from search engine results like Google and Yahoo. Let's check our settings. We can 
here have set the site published so anyone can find and view. So then if we now go to the published settings, we have a checkbox there, which we can tick to say you do not want your site to be found in search engines. As you work on the site, the changes in the editor are not reflected on the published site until you publish. So here we are again, we can now add in a new page to the site. We will call this a new page. So we now have a new page in the editor, but if we go and view the published version of the site, you'll find that new page as yet does not exist. We've only got the demo page and we've only got the copy of the demo page. If we go to review these changes, we can see that we've now added a new page. The page is yet to be published, so there's no preview. If we now publish this page, the publishing process happens. And now if we refresh the published version of the site, we find that the new page is now available. So the changes only take place after you've published the site. New Google Sites offers the link to the published version of the site directly from the editor. You have an icon at the very top there, copy the published site link. This will give you the link to the page that you are currently on. So you can easily copy that link, provide that in an email or give it to somebody in chat. Finally, you can unpublish your site at any time. On the publish settings drop down, you can choose unpublish. This gives you the warning that this would be unpublished. If you then go to review the published URL, you'll find that as the G Suite admin, you can see that I have information about when this was disabled. If you view this as the public, you just get a Google 404 error. Let's have a look at some of the limitations. Publishing respects the G Suite drive publish permission. This means if your G Suite administrator has disabled public publishing from Google Drive, then you won't be able to publish publicly. If you don't use G Suite, this won't be affected. Also, the G Suite admin can choose who you can share with. So this may also affect your ability to publish a Google site. When you go to publish, you cannot choose to publish individual pages or a subset of the site. You are publishing the entire site in one go. But the Inform Publish can tell you what changes have been made since you last published. We hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. You can see more new Google Science videos at Steagle.com.